Is there certain bags that you tend to gravitate for everyday use constantly? Because I have five that continually I change into for everyday purposes. So if you want to know which five they are, stay tuned. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And I'm wearing this shirt, welcome to the Babe Cave. Uh, and I am in a collaboration today with Candy. Candy invited me to collab with her again, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you, Candy. Her channel is Candy's Sweet Love for LV, if you didn't know that already. And she invited me to do the everyday bags that you gravitate toward. You know, whatever weather, whatever condition it is outside, kind of a low maintenance. To me, this is my take on it bags that I grab and throw stuff in really quick and they're easy to get in and out of they're comfortable to carry so that's my take on it of my five that I picked because I do tend to go into these bags more than the other bags I mean I I wear all of them <laughs> but some get more use than other you other bags <clears throat> so thank you candy for inviting me in your collab and let's get started with a drink first yep still subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already <laughs> so the first bag is kind of a 90s vibe bag and let me show you i got this from a facebook group and i have worn this so much it tells me that I would love the Fendi baguette style bag because it's so easy. It's just throw over your shoulder, a little baguette style. It's magnetic. I've showed this a lot of times, but it's true. This is one that I keep throwing my things in and using all the time. One, I, I love the color and I'll wear pink roughly with everything <laughs> but this is kind of a darker it's not quite as bright as it's showing on camera it has silver hardware I've been gravitating towards silver hardware lately and this is just easy this is an easy bag to take to the store to pick up my daughter from school yeah this is a coach baguette style because I don't know the name it's you know an older bag that I think I spent like $40 in, $40 on and it's leather, all leather, and it has the, the pink C's inside on the fabric, which I think is cool. And the two front pockets, fits keys, you know, the essentials. There's even a, a back compartment behind there. So yeah, this is my first definite everyday bag, the coach little bag. Another one. So my life has changed a lot in the past year. I have not worked a full-time job and I don't carry a lot of big bags. <laughs> I will try to wear big bags, but I end up for every day, pick up my daughter grocery store, run somewhere. I choose smaller bags. So this one right here is another one that is easy for me to use. I don't overpack it because the opening is not that big and it's the Michael Kors Extra Small Kareen bag and I can't remember the color. It's like a cranberry color, all leather bag. It's soft pebbled leather. It has a, a little slot back here but I never use that. <clears throat> and it does have the, the strap it's not super long. I usually use this top handle because <laughs> it's just so cute as a top handle. I love that the emblem is small. There's a front pocket. I could put like an Aldi quarter in if I needed to. Zips open like that. Here's the strap for it. It's just a, a small bag but 
you put a card case, your keys, and some chapstick, and run out the door. Um, and it's the perfect little everyday bag because of the leather. There's no fuss about it. It You can wear pebbled leather anywhere. And at least I do. <laughs> and it's not super flashy, but it's a cute little everyday bag. Again, this is the extra small Kareen bag by Michael Kors. This third one is, I've showed this one several times. Another, if you see a theme, I love this size. Um, this has been my favorite size and I've been attracted to more of like a shoulder bag. Although I like my crossbodies too. Um, but this size seems to be working out perfectly for my everyday bag. And this of course is the Dooney and Burke. And this color, I don't know if it's coming off, but it's like a really light, light blue. It's called Glacier Blue. There's the bottom of the bag. Here's your dark, it's a dark leather uh, trim on it with the, the dark duck right there. I usually put my coach rainbow strap on this and it just pops over my shoulder. Again, I like everything to be pretty easy if I'm going just for a qu quick errand or a dentist appointment or any kind of appointment. This is the easiest for me and it has the top zipper. I'll give you the name in a second because I can't remember it. <laughs> Uh, here's the strap it comes with. It's a very thin strap, so it's not my favorite strap by Dooney. This even has a key keeper inside. The name of it is a crossbody pouch, and I got this bag right here for $27, and this was in the time when they had points where you could accumulate it after so many purchases and so after I had so many points I got this bag for $27 on I Love Dooney <laughs> when they had those points that was amazing of course they've done away with it which is sad but yeah it's the crossbody pouch in glacier blue so that is a definite favorite everyday bag the this is in the pebble grain leather, if I didn't mention that as well. The stitching is kind of a, a yellow color. It's just super pretty, functional, easy to carry, crossbody pouch. This next one was actually a brand that I'm not sure that they're any longer in business. It, it They were for a while, a bunch of YouTube creators were popping videos of their bags they got from this company, which was L-A-S-N-V. But when I've searched for it now, I cannot find the website. Um, if I do find it, I'll link it down below. Uh, so basically I got this gifted to me and it's the denim, the tote bag. Obviously it is not Marc Jacobs because it, it would have a patch here. It's literally, you know, a dupe of the Marc Jacobs denim tote. It's super functional. The strap's really comfortable. If I want to throw in a little extra for the everyday bag, this is this is perfect. Uh, I always wanted one of the Marc Jacobs tote bags, but I don't know which one. So this one was gifted to me and I love it. And let me open it up here. It has silver hardware on it. And here's the interior, it has a yellow, just a yellow plain pocket right here. And here is the strap that comes with it. I really like the denim with the yellow, I, I do. <laughs> Even though this is not a real Marc Jacobs, you get the look for less. I believe on their website at the time, when this, when I could find their website, it was around 30 bucks. So perfect everyday throw in the car. You don't have to worry about it at all. Bag, you know, it's carefree. It's denim. Denim goes with a lot of things. So this is number four, the tote bag dupe. And I love it for everyday. 
Next is a Timu bag, and I did not want to get out of this bag. Like, even right now, sitting on my lap, I can smell the leather. <laughs> so if you have not purchased a leather bag from Timu, I got this one for like $30. It is genuine leather. So they do have leather bags on Timu. Um, and this is one that's supposed to look like the pull-in bags and this is a super cute bag. I of course had to add my own little things to it. I think I got this from Timu as well. I thought that was a cute little strap just to spice it up a little. Cute top handle. It also comes, you know, it has a magnet top closure. Easy to get in and out of. And this here's the strap that it came with. It is... <clears throat> The hardware on this is silver, but it's, throw your wallet keys, you know, chapstick, you're good to go. And I have used this many a times. It's in that beautiful caramel color. There's the bottom if I didn't show you. And uh, yeah, I have really enjoyed this bag and I am almost considering getting the real Pauline bag, whichever one this one is because uh, this is a little bit smaller type of bag and but I really like it I don't know if their leather smells like this but if it does I almost want the real thing but for now this is a good one it's pebbled leather genuine leather wear it anywhere anytime any place <laughs> and easy access got the strap go grocery shopping and some people might consider this, you know, like a little cumbersome, but I have not had trouble with it. It's it's still got a good opening to me. I really have enjoyed this as an everyday bag many times and it's really hard to get out of. If I can find this bag, I'll link it down below, but there are no promises because sometimes Timu bags come and go. And this one I think was really popular and it came in a few different colors um, but yeah super great everyday bag for sure so that wraps up my video of everyday bags let me know what what are the bags that you tend to just grab throw your accessory your wallet and keys in and run out the door like these are mine that are on replay over and over because I think they're just easy I think they're easy to use the weather does not matter to me with those. They're more of the affordable range bags that I own, um, and but they're great bags for, for easy everyday use. So yeah, let me know what your brands and what bags that you can't seem to get out of because they're so easy to run out the door with. And thank you again to Candy uh, for this collaboration. And she ca she must have got a subscriber that asked the question what she uses every day. So then she invited me to do it with her and I appreciate that. So thank you, Candy. And uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell so you won't miss my videos. And also do the same for her because she's way up there in subscribers as well and I hope that some of my subscribers will shoot on over to her and subscribe to her and uh, likewise I hope her subscribers might give my channel a chance. No, I don't have as many LV as her, but I do have some. And uh, I just, I like an assortment of bags from all price ranges. It just depends on what I like and what's out and what I want to pay for a bag. So. Anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. And until next time, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and have a good day or night, evening, morning, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. From Sweet Love 